Right, so we start obviously with goalkeeper. I'm going to go for a back three, four, three probably, but we'll start with the goalkeeper. Thibaut Courtois at Chelsea. Tough call, really. He's become, you know, as a young man, become probably the top two goalkeepers um, this season in the Premier League. And I think, you know, I put him slightly ahead of Hugo Lloris on the basis that Chelsea won the Premier League. He's obviously had a fantastic season in goal for Chelsea. At right sided centre back in my back three, I've gone for Cesar Azpilicueta. He is a player for me that is an unsung hero, really, of the Premier League this season. Prepared to play in different positions, does everything well, always a 7 out of 10, reliable, and does it all with, um, without really shouting about it. He's had a fantastic season. My, my deepest centre-back, I'm going to go for Toby Alderweireld um, from Tottenham. Um, he has been a joy to watch. You know, he's part of the tightest defence in the Premier League at Tottenham. Um, very few bookings throughout the season, hardly ever goes to ground and dives in, reads the game so well and has, has had an excellent season. Next to him as left side of centre back, I'm going to go for his partner, uh, Jan Vertonghen, um, also obviously of Tottenham. Um, and the partnership that they've had this season has been tremendous. I think Jan Vertonghen, you know, there's been some quality uh, defenders in the Premier League this season, but he, uh, he stands out for me. And then as left wing back, I'm going to go for Marcus Alonso, his first season obviously at Chelsea. Um, uh, adapted to the system brilliantly um, uh, for, for Antonio Conte this season and again not only has he shown the discipline to adapt to that position and has played that well, brought incredible balance to Chelsea but he's also chipped in with goals um, you know, from free play and a couple of wonderful set pieces. On the other side, at right wing back, I'm going to go for his, uh, his partner in crime and that's uh, Victor Moses. He's been the player for me who has probably most impressed me this season because he, he's gone from being a serial loanee player to somebody who has made that position as right wing back his own and he's had to have the discipline to learn the defensive part of the game as well as the creative side and he has been an absolute sensation. Two holding midfield players, I'm going to go for N'Golo Conte of Chelsea um, for all the obvious reasons, player of the year, football writers of the year, uh, writers player of the year and just a, a, a fantastic player. I could go on about him all day, the, the job that he does, the work rate that he puts in, the way he reads the game. Next to him, might be a bit of a surprise to people because his team haven't had a particularly good season, but Ander Herrera at Manchester United, I think he's been the one, or one of the few bright sparks really at Manchester United in what's been an average season for them. Um, but he's again a player who's given everything to the team. The standout moment for me was the way he man-to-man -man marked in in Hazard when Manchester United beat Chelsea 2-0 not that long ago and um, it, fantastic discipline and basically sacrificed any creativity just to go and do a job on, on Azard and he did that brilliantly. I've gone for two in behind a, a striker, Kevin De Bruyne at Manchester City um, who is the most graceful player I think in the Premier League this season, the way he just glides across the turf, his awareness, his timing, um, the way he deals with people individually when he goes past them but mostly just the range of passing and the accuracy of his passing, whether it's assisting from a narrow position or his delivery with a left or right foot, absolutely brilliant this season. Um, on the other side of him, um, Deli Alley uh, from Tottenham. Um, again, he's had a fantastic season, scored plenty of goals for the team, playing in what's a very difficult position. He's really stepped up this season to, to provide support, I suppose, for, for Harry Kane and chipped in a lot of goals. Um, for Tottenham this season and has helped obviously establish them as the second best team in the Premier League um, according to, the, uh, according to the, uh, the league positions. And then up front, very difficult decision, you've got players like Lukaku, Costa, Aguero, those sorts of players, but I've gone for Harry Kane again of Tottenham, um, just had a, a season where I think he's grown and learned um, again, you know, such a young player, third season in a row to score 20 plus goals. Um, which is, is, is exceptional. It led that line well for Tottenham and has scored all types of goals. Very adaptable player as a striker and, uh, and again, another incredible season.